Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. Have you ever wanted to make your Linux desktop look like Mac OS? Specifically, Mac OS Sonoma. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your operating system look like Mac OS Sonoma. But before we get any further, I'd like to thank my channel member. This is Mislav. They get early access to videos like this one right here. As well as a little badge next to the name whenever they comment on a video or live stream that say, I support this guy, why don't you? So, let's move into the video. Now, as we can see here, mine looks like Windows XP. I like my Windows XP. As we can see here, it's the theming and the, it's a Windows XP Luna and all, all that jazz. But what if I decide to have a... What if I decide to go for a change for, for, for a while? Well, I decided... I wanted to see how easy it would be to move to macOS Sonoma, and I found out. So I'm actually going to do it on my system, so you know what it looks like in real time. Now, if I just do this, you can tell I'm actually recording, so this is actually all in real time. So, this is on my own system. So the first thing we need to do is we need to do the thing that I don't like, and that's install GNOME. So, we do that with ins sudo apt install GNOME shell. Uh, GNOME shell extension manager. And then feed it the yes instruction. There we go. So it's just to get the GNOME environment so we can then go through and actually make it look like a Mac OS Sonoma. Um, we will be going with the default. So in this case, LightDM instead of GDM3. I've always used LightDM. Uh, that's just my preference. It, it works. I don't question it. We leave it alone. <laughs> Uh, GDM service is not active, can't reload, we leave that for later. Now that we've installed the extension manager, what we need to install is GNOME Tweaks, and we can do that with sudo apt install GNOME Tweaks, and feed it the yes. The reason why we do dash Y is because that is to force it to go yes, install this, without us having to go, do you really want to install this? The answer is yes. So... Now that we've got all of this, what we want to install, or what we want to move into place now, is a couple of things. We want to install the Sonoma files. Now, this is what the theming will look like with Sonoma. Now, Sonoma is one of the Mac OS variants. So, to install the Sonoma theming, what we do is we go to our home directory, we need to make sure that we have, we do indeed have our, do we, do we need to have it set so we can see hidden files? There we go, we'll get there eventually. Hidden files are any file that begin with a dot, period, full stop, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we're here. So in this case, as you can see, this is what mine currently looks like. If we go back twice, copy the Sonoma, and then paste it in. I will include a download link to this Sonoma, so we can then come back to it, so you, so you can then download it in the future if you'd like to. And if we can actually start making the changes now, if we wanted to. And there's also tweaks. So tweaks is just what allows us to make certain changes. Uh, but for now, we just want the theming. And what we can do is we can change it to macOS Sonoma. So as we, we've got the Sonoma starting to come in. And then of course we can go with, if I can find Sonoma. Horrifically bright, I know. Uh, unfortunately I can't change that. But we now have our desktop looking like Mac OS Sonoma. But this isn't all the way done though. No, there is some things that we need, we will actually need to do first. So now that we've actually got the themes, well, now we've got the theme in place, uh, we need to install our user themes extensions. So remember the Tweaks app we got? Well, Tweaks program even. I don't know why I call it app. But yeah. Remember the Tweaks program we got? Uh, we actually need this. So once we've got this, um, we can then actually look for certain themes so in this case uh we can look for user themes 
uh, shell, that'll fix itself. But we've already got all of this installed, so we don't need to worry. What we do now to do, what we do now need to do, is to start changing things. So if we look at our appearance, um, we can see we've got a not quite there. That's because we haven't done a step. Now, I'm all about showing you where if something goes wrong, we fix it. So, this is how we fix it. So, we open up Extension Manager. And as we can see here, an error occurred. Don't worry about that. It'll be fine. And then, what we do is go here and search for User Themes. And tell it to go off itself if it says unsupported. That's fine. We would like to install it anyway. We may have to restart the system. Uh, would I like to install anyway? Yes, I would. So we are going to have to re uh, reinstall the system. Uh, I say that this is having a funky. Not, re not reinstall the system. Restart the system. So we'll return once I have restarted the system. And there is one more step we forgot to install. We actually forgot to install GNOME. So we should install that now. So, while well, some of you may have been screaming at me earlier going, you forgot GNOME, you forgot GNOME, I didn't, oh, I forgot GNOME, until just now. Now, this is why I include these errors in the recording process, so you know where, if I've gone wrong, you can actually see how to mitigate these errors. Now, this is fine, we'll get through it eventually. Now, again, this is just going through the process of uninstall. Actually, that's full screen this. There we go. So, now that we've actually got GNOME installed, we, knew, we do actually need to log out, change the desktop environment from the login screen. So, we'll do that. Okay, so now that we actually have our desktop environment looking like GNOME. Uh, there we go. What we need to do now is open up Tweaks. And look at our appearance. Now, we have all of this. Now, it's having just small issues because we've not actually installed the extensions. So, extensions manager. And now we need to browse for user themes. And as we can see, it is indeed installed. Now, I imagine there is a way to uninstall it if we needed to. But what we can see here is we've got everything we want. There is currently no user extensions installed. So if we just come down to user themes and enable user themes. Good. Now we can finally apply the theme via the Tweaks app. Well, the Tweaks program even, not Tweaks app. So, look for Tweaks again cry as it's done wrong and as we can see here we have our Sonoma Tommy's changing we can then the cursor and icons are currently the default we're gonna have to just live with that for the time being because we're not quite done yet and we, of course we've got the Sonoma so we're currently just bringing it in bringing it in now that we've got the appearance sorted out we need to go to the window, windows title bar uh, placement on the left hand side, so again, looking like uh, OS X, or Mac OS even. And now we need to actually grab our icons. Now we've got a choice of which icons we can download, but for my case, I'm just going to download, uh, I'm just going to use Big Sur, for example. Uh, for some reason, all of my desktop icons have disappeared. Thank you, Mac OS. Not, not Mac OS. Thank you, Debian. No, not Debian. Gnome. So I just need to find my file manager. There we go. Oh, you can guarantee I'm moving back to thing once I'm done. But I just thought I'd show you show it off first. Uh, where is desktop? I'd like to see my desktop, please. I would love to see my desktop. There's my desktop. Okay. So we've got our... This is the font which we should install, which we will install now. 
Uh, this is just the default interfont that is used by used by this really. Uh, so that's sorted out. And of course, what we want to do is we want to grab our. And so we want to grab our Pixar, which we've now got. I'll leave a link to these in the description so we can come back to them in the future. But now that we've got this, we're just going to paste this in and then tell it to extract here. And we've got our Big Sur Originals and Prime. So what we want to do is we just want to copy this, go to our home directory, make sure that we can see hidden files, which in this case we cannot. For some reason. Ah, show hidden files, there we go. Uh, come down to our themes. Where is themes? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Sorry, not themes. Icons. Sorry, I just had to think about that. We need to find our dot icons file, which is somewhere. Where is our dot icons? There it is. And then paste in our Big Sur Originals. And then the reason why it's not showing up here is because what we've done is we've not copied these two in. What we've done is just placed the hold file. So there we go. Now this may need a... Yeah, we're just going to have to close and open this back up again. So, teams, fix, even, appearance, and then icons. Big Sur. Now, this is all correctly loaded, it's just not having fun with itself, which is fine. We'll get rid of that and we'll try this again. So, again, fix appearance and then try the other big sir and now we've got our stuff looking like mac os but we're not quite done that yet we've got our icons looking like big sir prime we've got our cursor which isn't quite there but that's yeah that's fine we'll leave it as is uh we've got our sound which we're leaving at default for now we've got our shell looking like sonoma what we what we could do is we could install the dynamic uh, environments, dynamic desktops, because as we know, with macOS, or if you don't if you don't really use macOS, I'll tell you um, the if you've got dynamic desktops set up, they change over time during the day, depending on what time of day and all this jazz. But we're just going to leave that alone. What we're going to do is we're going to sort out our fonts. We're going to change it from Cantrell to Inter. I have got no idea why this keeps popping up. I think it's just me. Uh, open up into regular and select that. So now we have our fully looking like Mac OS. Now it is up to us to change where we want our dock, as it were. So if I hit this, this would be the dock. I, I don't know why it's called the dock. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But that's just my personal opinion. So, to change where we want it, we open this up and then we can go to appearance. Wait for this to catch up ever so slowly. I say ever so slowly. Uh, because the thing we want is not actually loaded. Gee, thanks. Uh, it's just changing where we want a few things. But in this case, if we just want to actually search for it, we can just search for position. Or not. If we search for, I don't know, appearance. It should be here, but it's not. Thanks. So what we would be looking for is where we want the dock. So, uh, dock. It's 
it's not quite there. But that's... That's known for you. So if we just try display settings. Maybe? Maybe? No? Don't want to do it for me? Don't want to do it for me? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I will turn off the on-screen keyboard, because I don't know why that keeps happening up. Hmm. Anyway, this is how to make your... Uh, how to make your desktop look like uh, Mac OS Sonoma. Now, it hasn't worked entirely, but that's fine, because we've done it in real time, and I've showed you the errors. Now, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike. They both seem to work. It's entirely up to you whether you click them or not. If you're not already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I have been Nick, you have been amazing, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and goodbye.